Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Okami Din. In the last episode, we got here to Hana Valley at long last after getting the power of Power Slash. And in this episode, let's go ahead and explore Hana Valley once more. Um, not a whole lot changed from Okami, at least not right off the bat. A lot more is going to be changed a bit later on though, but right here we have an Ami Toy. So that is another... He has a tail brush, which is actually kind of cool. If they made official Okami merchandise, that'd be awesome if her brush could, if her tail could actually be used as a brush. That'd be really cool. But, uh, yeah. We got some rocks to power slash right here. And I was trying to power slash both of them, but unfortunately I failed. Uh, right here, we have a new creature. Won't do much damage to you, but you're going to want to fight those because it's the only place where those actually appear. And right at the bat, we have a Potter Wheel, which is the first of the, uh, manifest and excuse me for a moment sorry about that my door opened by itself I don't know if it's the ghost of somebody or something like that but um if a ghost strangles me I will have it on recording <laughs> anyway uh, right here there we go potter wheels that is our first item of the manifest and I just don't like this rock so I'm gonna power slash it even though it's going to make this video a lot more difficult for me to edit because I'm doing one more brush technique than I need to uh, but yes creatures Right here we have a red toad, which is a new uh, type of enemy. There's actually more of these a bit later, but we'll get into those when we get into those, basically. Uh, but just to let you know, no collectibles in Hana Valley are going to be missable. So feel free to do whatever you want. Feel free to speed through this area if you want to just come back and get the collectibles later, and you're not going or you're not going for 100% or whatever. Nothing in Hana Valley is missable. You can always come back here. None of the chests go away. Nothing. Uh, right here, we have Isun signboard. These are special. They're typically, you know, just kind of little tips that you'll find along the way. The team's taken over these parts. The reason is the Guardian Sapling has lost its strength. Okay. Now, Isun signposts are kind of cool looking, but if you actually take the time to power slash them, you will get these pink ink pots, which are Ink Bottle M. These will refill two ink pots, and it just takes one power slash to do it, so half an ink pot to restore two full ink pots. Really nice. But uh, now that we're done with that, how about we slash through these rocks? Now, I do have to say, it kind of bothers me how the ink looks in this game. By the way, we can't do anything about this yet, so he's just going to say, like, it's another one of those curse stones. We need to find a way to purify the land. Remember the spot. Once we come back here, once we figure it out, we'll come back here. Okay. But um, it kind of bothers me how the ink looks in Okami Din. Like, I think it looks kind of more crayonish than brushes. And the thing is, there are beta screenshots that show it looking more like the ink in Okami, but I'm guessing that it was just too resource intensive for the DS to render in real time and have it, like, not lag behind you drawing. Um, but actually, uh, speaking of beta content, this is actually another instance of it. This wall's in pretty bad shape. Maybe if we fix it up, you'll see some, we might see something cool. This puzzle, originally there was no slab here, and you'd have to draw like a square shape around the entire tablet, but in here you can see that just a small chunk of it is missing. So, that's a slight puzzle change that was made between the uh, initial release, between the uh, beta version and the final release, I guess. I'm saying I guess a lot in this area, I'm so unsure of myself. That's so odd to me, because like, usually I'm just so confident and just like so excitable, but I'm just being like all like, I guess. Nah, screw that crap. Beautiful, you're getting the hang of this. Hmm, looks like some kind of tree growing ceremony. I think I heard, I've heard about these from my dad, I think. This is one of those guardian saplings. Pretty neat, huh? Hmm, feels like something's missing. I think it needs a light source. So, let's go ahead and draw the sun. That's a little bit off, I think I'm gonna draw that again. And there we go. Whoa! Wh wh what's going on? You didn't do this in Okami, did ya? If you did, I want to know how you're playing, because I would like to know. But <laughs> a path opened up. We're going to be going through Hana Valley very differently than we did in Okami, which I like this twist. I like putting new twists on old areas. So this area is unique to Okami Din. It's kind of a another area of Hana Valley that you didn't know existed in your first time around. But uh, now that we've gotten here, uh, right off the bat, we got a chest right here that Kuni can collect for us. Now, a lot of people are probably suggesting, like, hey, why don't you just like draw like a path to the chest then back to yourself so you don't have to draw twice? Uh, thing is, even though the comments have been saying that, that 
doesn't exactly work. Cause right, watch right here. Cooney does not turn around. After getting the item, it cancels the effects of the brush. So we unfortunately can't do that. But getting this chest will get us the enamel, another piece of the manifest that we have for the nameless man. The, name, the, the nameless man. Uh, right here, these are enemy spawners. I think we had those in um, in uh, Cave of Nagi. Excuse me. Bleh. So I don't really need to go over those. Uh, up there, we got yet another chest, which contains something that's off screen, but I'm betting it's a masterpiece. And indeed it is, Masterpiece Part 1. So we actually have a good chunk of it completed now, at least the first one. Signboard, okay, the Guardian Seville bears fruit. The fruit is the source of its strength. The way I figure it, some Grand Poobah of Demons is taking all the fruit to make himself stronger. Word is he's fat. Too many carbs, I guess. He goes by the name Master Anura, but who knows what he's a master of. I don't think he's hoarding all the fruit he can find. They say he's so fat and his belly button is bigger than a human head. Anyway, you better look into it. Well, we could, or I could just power slash this sign that just gave me a ton of advice. Thank you, sign, for that, and take all of its ink. I know, I'm such a wonderful person. But over here, we've got a switch that we can press, and i got to say, um, I kind of like this creepy atmosphere in this area. Of course, Okami always is really atmospheric, always really pretty looking. And I understand that, like, there's some reviews, like, not very many, though, but there were, like, few and far between reviews that said, like, this game looked terrible. But for DS standards, I think they did a really good job creating Okami on a handheld. I mean, it's a pretty dang commendable thing to get this running on a handheld at the time that it was released. I mean, in America, the 3DS might have been out when this was released, but in Japan, it sure as heck wasn't. And Excuse me! I was meaning to press Y, not X, because... Up here, we have another Eastern Masterpiece Part 1. Okay. I'm kind of curious how complete it is now. Oh, uh, wow. We are only missing three pieces of Part 1. So, we actually are doing pretty well for ourselves. I didn't think we were quite that far along. But, uh, right here, power slash that. And there we go. Makes us able to progress, but do we really want to progress? No, not really. We want to actually go backwards, because backtracking is always useful in games. And over here, we have yet another chest, which contains white clay, another one, another item for the manifest. So we got three out of five. We're going through here quite quickly, actually. Uh, right here, want to press that. It's going to lower the spikes. Want to let Cooney off, and while we stand on one switch, we want him to press the other. Then we can walk across, collect Cooney, and now both of us are over here so we can press the switch! Amazing! I don't know, all I had to say was amazing. I know, that was kind of awkward, but... <laughs> hey! Get out of my way! Don't like frogs, got... I'll admit, I'm actually kind of afraid of frogs. I know it's like a silly thing to be afraid of, but there was like one time when, um, I think I was at it like 2 o'clock in the morning, just like walking to like a gas station, and I was like so afraid of like getting jumped or something like that. And then like, when I'm almost home, I feel like something grabbed me on the shoulder, and like, I couldn't see like any people near me, and I, w I scream like a little girl, I look over and it's just a frog that jumped onto my shoulder, and I'm just like, YOU IDIOT! <laughs> God, like, that scarred me for life, but, um, anyway, doubt anybody really cares about that. Here we have red clay, so four out of five now. We've almost completed that collectible thing. Oh, goody, a big rock in our way. Lucky us. There's a scrap of paper attached to it. Weird. Well, if we want to keep going, there's only one thing to do. I'm going to cut this rock in two, and I'm going to need your help. That was weird. Did you guys see that glitch in the graphics right there? Let me draw that better. Good thing is, uh... What do you mean that wasn't good enough? Okay. There. Usually want to draw the power slash quickly so it's not all wavy. Drawing it slowly and carefully is actually kind of a bad thing. You want to just draw it like as quickly as you can, even if it looks a little sloppy. Let's see. I've been saying this, the two of us can split any rock in two. That's really motivational team speech right there. Any, The two of us can split any rock in two. Let's tell that to any teammate you ever have. Down here, we have yet another chest. They're just making us do this some... What do you mean I'm out of ink? Like a printer. Uh, well, for the first time ever, we gotta rely on our wolf kung fu. Knew that was gonna come back. And we get our ink back. Go ahead and pull Cooney back up. 
Well, not really up, just north. <laughs> Get him on our back, and another Isun Masterpiece Part 1. And with that, we have a required battle. I think this is actually going to introduce new enemies, because frequently they do. Yes, it does! Right here, we have Bone Clams. Or rather, just a Bone Clam. Uh, these things have really high defense. As you can see, my attacks aren't doing much damage to it, and neither are Kuni's. However, just like other enemies, he has kind of like a stun. And you can just power slash him when he's stunned. Actually, no, you cannot. Sorry, I'm thinking of something else. Uh, you can try to power slash him, and it will appear to floral finish him. And that is really gross looking. I like get an eye stalk. But um, even though it appears to floral finish him, that's not his floral finisher. We actually cannot do what's necessary to do that yet. But of course, I'll be getting into that when we have the ability to. Because it's actually something new to Okamidin is that sometimes you have to do combos of brush techniques to be able to floral finish an enemy. And this is one of those cases. Power Slash is one of the powers. The other one that is needed is something we actually don't have yet. Uh, right over here. I like how, just pointing this out, I like how the rocks disappear when it's convenient for game design, yet half of them remain when it's convenient for game design. It's just like, I don't know, it just like, kind of always struck me as really weird. As sometimes only half the rock disappears, sometimes the whole rock disappears, and yet the rocks look exactly the same. So it's not like there's any physical difference that's making it do that. But <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm ranting about that of all things. Over here, we have yet another rock we have to power slash. Jeez. Apparently, Master on Nura's interior, interior decorator, interior decorator really likes rocks. See, I tell you that demon is a character. Looks like he's getting his power by eating the guardian sapling's fruit. What you got to do is give him a good punch in the stomach. That should help you get the fruit back, and then take it to where it used to be to restore the guardian sapling. Okay. Uh, I guess I could get some extra ink from this. I really don't think it's necessary, but I might as well. But yeah, up here is where we got to go next. And we actually have a really cool puzzle coming up. I, this one I really like. So we have these uh, three things of water. And we want to do is we want to step on this switch and we want to guide Kuni across. Now, you have the you have the other waterfalls to worry about. However, once Kuni walks up to them, just press the switch and he'll be able to get through without getting knocked off. And there we go. Let's go ahead and grab Kuni on our back once again, and those mountains in the background are so pretty. Ooh, another one! I wonder what deity this one is! Okay, so as by this point you might have noticed that minus the penguin that we've had who has nothing to do with the zodiac, all of these are signs in the Chinese zodiac. This of course being the monkey! don't want to know why he's handling it like that. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> Especially where his hands are collapsed in the front of his body. Never mind. Oh, child of the great sun, I am the young Sakigami. Your mother, the great goddess Amaterasu, knew you would pass this way, so I have been waiting here for your arrival. Now we shall bond, and you shall have the power to bring flowers and trees to bloom! Behold! The power is yours! We're gonna get a ring? No. We get the power of... Bloom. Alright. I know. This is the one you've all been waiting for. This is the circle drawing brush technique. Drawing circles on trees. Basically, you want to draw the outline of what the tree is supposed to look like when it has leaves on it. And as you know, my greatest weakness is drawing circles. So now is the moment of truth. Am I going to be able to draw a circle right on the first try? Yes! Alright, now that that very dramatic moment is over, um, right here we have the scroll for Bloom, which will teach us a few things. Uh, you can draw a circle around trees. We got tips right here. Um, there are many helpful closed buds throughout Nippon that can be used to make them too that can be made to flower. In addition, you can use Bloom to remove evil from small curse zones. Okay, so now we know what to do about that. 
But something that it doesn't say is that we got two trees right here. We don't necessarily have to draw the circle around them. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and circle right there. That little cross right there in the middle is where you have to draw it. However, just so long as you have a close circle that's covering multiple of those points, you can bloom multiple trees at once, just like in Okami. So that's something helpful to remember. Every time you bloom a tree, you will get a little bit of praise, so every bit counts. But now that we're done with that, we have yet another required battle that wasn't here when we walked in. Convenience. Right here, we got two bone clams. Now what we want to do is, when we attack them after a while and they get into that weakened state, we can do something before that we could not. As you can see right here, we are now able to use bloom on them, and it will give us a circle indicating that we can. Uh, anytime that there's an enemy like that, usually you'll get something of that sort. And what you can do is, you can just power slash them in two. Or, not power slash them in two. Power slash them in two. Excuse me! Power slash them in two! And you will instantly finish them off. And you will instantly get a floral finisher. So that is very useful. <laughs> so, using bloom together with a floor with a power slash is how you're going to floral finish these guys. Go ahead and draw a close circle. That was way overshot. Okay, seriously. We're now getting into me not being able to draw circles or straight lines. What is this, my Okami Let's Play? Okay, at the very least, I thought that was one of my better Let's Plays, so at least we're continuing trends from that, whether it's intentional or not. <laughs> and what do you mean I don't work well with others? Speaking of continuing trends from that Let's Play. <laughs> anyway. I think that went over rather well. But, now that we have ourselves yet another new power and we've demonstrated it, I think we're going to end this off here. Next time on Okamidin, we are going to be hopefully restoring Hana Valley to its former glory by using our new Bloom ability, and continuing through the dungeon to hopefully get the last of the collectibles and find Master Anura. See you guys then.